Welcome back. There's an event happening this weekend calling all little bunnies to the Capitol grounds. We're welcoming one of the Easter egg hunt co-chairs for this year's Easter egg hunt on the Capitol grounds happening this Sunday. Jerry Haas with the Bismarck Optimus Club is with us. Jerry, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. And first, I want to ask you, what age group is this Easter egg hunt geared towards? It's for all kids age 9 and under. And uh, yeah, it's taking place this Sunday at the North Dakota Capitol grounds. Now, most of us have taken part in an Easter egg hunt. So the question is, how do you get the big kids to kind of hold back and let the little kids get to the eggs first? <laughs> you know, that's a really good question. We have it set up at 1.30 where kids three and under will get to hunt for their eggs first. And then it will give our volunteers a chance to scatter the eggs for the next round for the four to six-year-olds. And then starting at 2.30, we'll have it for the last group, which is the seven to nine-year-olds. So we figure the way that we do it, it's a way to have a, a fair Easter egg hunt for all the kids. Now we hear there are some prize eggs in the mix here, so can you talk to us about that? Yes, we have around 50 prize eggs that will be part of the 12,000 that will be scattered around the Capitol grounds. So with the prize eggs, uh, when a kid opens an egg and there's a prize slip, they just go to our prize station and they can redeem it for something uh, that we think they'll really enjoy. And you actually answered my next question. So 12,000, is that the typical number you've had? That's what we've had for the last three years. Okay. We started with 3,000 at our very first one, and it's, it's grown. We get more people each year, and we've kept it at 12,000 eggs. Okay. So you mentioned you've done that for the past few years. How long has this event been going on? We started it in 2017, and so uh, we have a great group of volunteers from our Optimus Club that help us stuff the eggs. We just finished that last night. And volunteers that work the event too. So that's kind of how we, we put it together. It's all volunteer driven. And give us a little summary. What does the Optimist Club do? What are they all about? Okay, we're a friend of youth. That's our motto. We've been around here since 1971. And we have a variety of service projects that benefit the kids in the community. We have an Optimist Impact Grant, a Funds for the Future Grant that the schools can apply for. And you'll find us every December at the Kirkwood Mall wrapping gifts. That's our main fundraiser. Ah, okay. Anything in particular you're looking forward to this year? With our Optimist Club? Uh, just uh, continuing to grow our club. And, uh, you know, this Easter egg hunt is one of our all-time favorite events. So we're geared up and we're ready to go for Sunday. All right. Sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, let's hope for some good weather too, right? Yes, that's, that's a big part of it. That's right, so. absolutely. Jerry, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for having me. Again, it starts this Sunday at 1.30 p.m. The times are tiered towards ages and the event is free.